What's up, party people? Today we're going to talk about alignment, intermediate targets, sight putting, fun, fun things that get you starting your ball on proper line. So I have here set up a ball. This is my target line. Target line goes on in perpetuity, that direction, that direction. The plane of target line, of course, goes through net. We're not discussing that today. What we want to talk about is what are you aiming at? How are you working the golf ball? What are your start lines? Why are those your start lines, etc.? Most professionals choose to aim as far away from trouble and work it toward the trouble. If there's water left, I'm hitting it right and drawing it back to it. I'm not starting it over trouble and hoping that it's going to come back because a lot of the time, the last thought that runs through our head is like, don't hit it in the water. And guess what? That ball's not gonna cut. You're gonna leave it out there. It's gonna hit the water. You're gonna double cross it. And in trying to avoid that, we want to lock in on an intermediate target. My favorite thing. Butch Harmon talks about it ad nauseum. Back in the day, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, when Claude, his father, was playing, he would say that a good 25, 30% of tour players only looked at this spot two to three feet ahead of their ball. From behind the ball, they're tracking it. They're looking at that one spot walking in. We can watch Tiger do this on every single shot. They're clocking that one spot putting the club down, looking at that spot, making sure it's aimed there. Then maybe checking in with the longer target, maybe checking in with where they want it in the air, maybe checking in with where they want that ball to start, etc. But we are all clocking this spot. I find myself more and more often not even looking up anymore. Walking from there to there, especially when it comes to wedges and shorter shots, I just look at that spot I've already logged in my mind what I want that shot to do. I know where it's gonna be in the air. I know where it's going to land because I've programmed that back here with my imagination as I visualize the shot. And of course we've talked about that, but this is just another example of how much that can help you. On slower shots, on chipping, on wedge play, we can all see if we have the discipline to stay down, the ball coming off of the club. We can see that blinding white light that white blur, that white streak going toward the target. The more you can visualize that happening, have the discipline to stay down through the shot, holding that angle, the more likely it's going to happen. I mean, am I right or am I right? I'm right, I'm totally right. So if I'm visualizing it here, we'll say water is left. This is my intermediate target. That's middle of the green, okay? I know I'm set up middle of the green. Now I know I wanna play a draw. And we're gonna go back to the old sensibilities of how to play a draw. I'm gonna aim the club where I want the ball to end up. I'm gonna aim my body where I want the ball to start. And then I'm just gonna swing along my body line so I don't have to change my swing at all. So I don't have to manipulate my path or my face angle during the swing. It's just a setup. And if I set up here and I have my body aimed that way, I'm gonna hit that ball that direction, but because my face is here, that's gonna impart draw spin. Of course, if I don't manipulate, scoop, early extend, all the other things that we've talked about in the first three real lessons about right arm, left arm pull, rotation, etc. If we don't manipulate that club and scoop, it's gonna impart draw spin on the ball, it's gonna hook. Say there's a tree right in front of me here. I have no other way to get around that thing, but by curving the ball, because I wanna go for it. We all wanna go for it. As the great Mickelson says, you know, we all see the miracle shot. It's just, do we have the cojones to pull it off, to take a try, to take a chance at it? And when we do, it's the greatest thing ever when you pull that shot off, because we're usually narrowed in our focus on that. I'm better out of the rough from behind a tree more often than I am in the middle of the fairway. Middle of the fairway, you have this expectation of putting the ball five, 10, 15 feet. When you're in the rough, you're in the shit over here, you're not expecting anything. You're just hoping you get on the green. So it narrows our focus. When you got to punch it through a hole in a tree, your focus is so narrowed, you can't really think about much of anything else. And that's a beautiful thing. And what this intermediate target helps you do is really focus on the first three feet of ball play. This first three feet, if you can get it set and moving the way you want it to, the way you had envisioned it, the way you visualized it from behind the ball, moving on that line, guess what? You're probably going to do that. If some other thought, creeps into your head somewhere in the middle of your golf swing and you're not thinking about that, then we're rolling the dice and we really don't know where it's gonna go. It's far better for us to always be thinking what's happening downrange 
rather than what's happening up range. You get to this position in your backswing, you're like, oh great, your mind goes blank. You default into right arm takeover, especially for mid to high handicappers. You accomplish the one thing you were trying to do in your swing, which everybody gets so stuck in that paradox of backswing, 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 movements, positions. There's only two positions in the golf swing, address, finish. Everything else, as Sean Foley would say, is a body in motion. And that body in motion is what we're trying to truly master. Not a hit, but that gathering. And if we can gather the ball here and just keep on moving, visualizing that ball flight, your brain will produce that ball flight for you. But if you don't know where you're aiming, and trust me, I get up on a shot with a wedge especially. I'll set up on that and I'll look up and I'll feel like I'm aimed way over here or way over here. But then I'll look back down and be like, no, that's my intermediate target. And if I look up, I'm like, I have to trust that more than my eyes trust this. Because we're not looking at it straight like this. When we're looking at it askew, at a sideways glance, at a sideways angle, it's hard to really tell where you're aiming. But if you know that you're aimed at this, which is why I don't take my eyes off it a lot of the time, if you take your eyes off of it, you're gonna see a tree, a bunker, a lake, any number of things. And then guess what you're thinking about? That tree, that bunker, that lake, rather than seeing this first two feet of ball flight. If you get it started on that, I guarantee when you look up, it's probably going to be where you want it to be in the sky. And that's focusing on things that are going downrange, downrange, toward the target, toward the target, not back here. We don't want to think about those things. They don't really necessarily matter when we're playing golf. The more you commit to that intermediate target, the more likely you are to hit that. It's the discipline to focus on that. And the discipline comes into play even in the practice swing, watching the club go over a spot, traveling inside out or traveling outside in for a cut. If we're gonna play a cut, I set the club at, again, aiming at target, aiming at intermediate target, and I open my stance now. This is when the trouble is generally right. I've been playing a cut for the most part of this last year, so everything I play is gonna cut rather easily and I'm not double crossing very often. So I'm setting up like this all the time face just a little bit open, or a lot open if I want a lot of cut and a lot of movement on that shot shape. Again, I'm seeing this target. I know when I'm playing a cut, I'm expecting the ball to start left of that. When I'm playing a draw, I'm expecting to see the ball travel to the right of that. Same thing applies to putting. In putting, I'm always looking about six inches in front of the ball. I'm tracking my line, I've set up the line of my ball, and that line of my ball, you know, it's not exactly where I'm aiming. If I look a little different to my eye, I'm gonna give it a little more, which is usually what I do. Air on the high side rather than the low side. I'm a die putter, so that ball is usually falling in the hole for me, I'm not ramming it in. And when you're dying it in the hole, it has a higher percentage of going into the hole. The hole gets a little bit bigger, and if it's racing past, catches a lip, doesn't catch a lip, just rolls straight over the edge of the cup, and you're like, well, I didn't even look in the hole because it was going too fast, you know? So when I'm looking at that, I'm tracing my line, tracing my line, visualizing it, then I'm looking there, and by the time I roll it, I know it's going right over the place where I'm looking, and then it just turns into pace. So again, if we're aiming at this flat, right? From back here, I have clocked a spot two to three feet in front of my ball. I am looking at that spot all the way as I walk into the shot. All I'm looking at is that spot, putting the club down. For me, a little bit of a cut, so I'm a little bit open. But my face is aiming right there, which means it's a little bit open. My body's a little bit open. I don't even look up. I just keep clocking that. Getting my feet right, getting my feet right, and then going. And letting it come right through there. Hope that helps you all. Hope you enjoy it. Watch it again. There's a bunch of little bits in all these videos, it's not just about whatever topic we're talking about then in that place. There's also more information in there. We always find when we go back and, and revisit it and watch it again, you'll pick up on something else, something new that we ended up talking about that maybe it was said so quickly and we didn't really elaborate on it, but it's in there. Thank you for visiting. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Happy golfing. Play well. Hit it straight. Use an intermediate target every time. Visualize it every time. Chavez.